exceed the expectations of society and expand your personality. Excellence is no longer aesthetic or a limited phenomenon that can be taken for granted. Rather, excellence is synonymous with constant change, redefinition and dynamism. And it requires us to be open, flexibly, energize new ideas, maybe taking risks, taking opportunities, and taking new management paradigms. In time past, we were a great nation. Uh, we were the beacon of hope for the world. We led the world economically, we led the world culturally, we led the world intellectually. And obviously, as with all good things, there is that ebb and flow of progress. Uh, so somewhere today, I believe that uh, we are not where we should be, but we are certainly making the right efforts. Already in certain spheres, we are excelling. We are on top of the world, as it were. But we still have a way to go before we can reclaim our rightful place on the world stage. So I think there are aspects of India that are excellent. And I think that, um, but it's striving to be excellent in more areas. And I think that goes for all other countries. So uh, India Inc. or India as a, as a country, I would, I would believe that we are on the right path in terms of business excellence journey that we are trying to create. And another thing that I would like to mention is that I think some of the, some of the conglomerates, like the one that I represent, Tata Group, they have proved, repeatedly proved that the business excellence exercise is not restricted to India. They have taken their business excellence journey globally. They have acquired company globally. And I'm sure there are other conglomerates apart from Tata Group who have done the same. As we became more global, what I have uh, uh, personally experienced is our awareness of the global standards have gone up. And many of the companies have been striving to be uh, ex excellent in whatever uh, they do. And this has definitely raised the bar and this is something that is helping. And for us to be able to be able to compete in the global arena as a nation, we have been doing well, but at the same time, we still have a lot to cover. Five years back when I started off on the journey with DDI in the talent management space, I came with a hypothesis that possibly uh, India as a market is not uh, very averse to talent and uh, many HR practices are not as mature as, as I thought what DDI had to offer. But when I really started my journey and I started meeting a lot of HR leaders in the country, I uh, started understanding that that hypothesis was wrong. I met up with a customer who spoke about assessment centers and the time I'm talking about assessment was kind of alien to many organizations. And that client had set up validity studies within their own organization, conducting assessments internally. When I started walking further and started talking to many leaders and went to the development space, Leaders were really not just talking of tick mark in the training box, but we're trying to see how they can help change the leadership behavior for their organization and employees in the organization, which really made me think that uh, it's not just a job that people are trying to do, but really a passion which drove into the excellence that we are talking about. Oh yes, I do think so, and there are a couple of reasons. Uh, one I think is uh, the service orientation that we have, I think is pretty high. Uh, back it up with the you know, strong academic foundation most of our people go through uh, and the attitude to really excel. I think it's a very competitive um, world in India and that probably is also a derivation of uh, the fact of how our education system is structured. Uh, so combining all of this, we really create a workforce which is exceedingly competitive uh, but at the same time not competing uh, against each other but together. So that's a compelling reason for me to believe that uh, India is, is extremely high on providing a workforce which really excel. Uh, I strongly believe that India is a nation of excellence. This kind of got lost in between. However, that is again because of the Western influence and the way we, we have been evolving over the last few centuries, so to say. But however, uh, whatever we have lost has, has been uh, partially good and partially bad. We have learned some from the world. At the same time, we retained certain certain originality that, that belonged to this nation. But right now, we are at a stage we are together evolving uh, as a nation with the combined knowledge of what we have acquired from the world and what we traditionally had.